Terence Dave here and today we're checking out the official release to Ancient Dungeon. I love that I keep seeing those success stories from Ichio SideQuest App Lab like wherever it's coming from. To me personally it kinda seems like a certificate of the community that the project is so good that it absolutely deserves to be on the official store. This one is no exception, I think the first video of this I made like over two years ago so congrats to the developer for finally making it and let's see what's in this release. So Ancient Dungeon is a roguelite pixelated dungeon crawler where we get to explore underground pathways and environments, swinging our way through the monsters lurking there and reach the never ending bottom of the dungeon. The game has so many cool features going on like full out combat physics and interactions that aren't necessarily standard because it's so detailed and really makes a difference in the gameplay that heavily relies on skill. It's an actual roguelite meaning every time you die there's some profit from it and progression that essentially transfers to your next playthroughs and the game constantly changes around that along the way. It very much feels like an adventure and it has high polish. I remember every time I played this game I've been impressed every single time. It's been a while though from the last time so I expect to see some new stuff today and it's quite frankly amazing to see now making it so far. Let's go back to the dungeon! Oh, there's an intro! Legend of the Ancient Dungeon has been told for eons, an ever-shifting labyrinth of corridors and caverns brimming with wealth. Accolades of the Grand... You can read it. <laughs> Is this the starting camp? Yeah, okay, it's just... There were no walls. I am excited. <laughs> What's this? I guess, oh, it, it's his glass. You were not here before. Blacksmith. I wonder if you'll be like crafting stuff. Yeah. That's cool. So there's more to roguelite than after each run you probably earn recipes and stuff. Oh, well, off we go. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, Jordan's. With all due to respect to the developer. <laughs> I don't read this. This armor, you are immune to damage from traps and spikes. Oh hell yes. So as you can see, everything is interactable. <laughs> Which nowadays, it might be crazy, but that's when you can tell the project is pretty good. Could you do that with projectiles before? I know Kung Fu. Why? <laughs> Did they reflect it or something? <laughs> okay, there's a map, I remember. Is this to climb it? Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That's a journal. <laughs> I'll get back to the original track. <laughs> We collect coins for the merchant that sometimes appears. I can't actually be damaged? Oh, that's nice. That's health potions. Ah, oh, shit, my ass off. <laughs> You're scary as always.
Get out of time. Okay, well, I'm derping around too much. What? Oh shit, my ass! <laughs> I guess we could go here. They're so cute, right? And murderous. The physics is important because the harder you hit, the more damage you deal. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm gonna die on my first run. That's entirely possible. I just need to focus. <laughs> you throw stuff now? <laughs> Army strike. This is a boss room. <laughs> Jesus, the music. Come on, hey. <laughs> oh my god, the epicness. Oh my god. <laughs> we have new moves now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have as an upgrade? Slightly increases your range damage. Oh, it's continuous now. We just go down, down. Oh, okay. How I'll pass then? I think this is my moment to die. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's a horror game as well. Toy piano. When you complete an area, you gain two keys. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> okay, I need to go there. <laughs> Don't fail on me now, tracking. I don't need luck, I need HP. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> he 
He's gonna dash now. Stop throwing. What the? <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, I'm going deeper and deeper. What is this? Flying letters? <laughs> There's just so much new stuff, like, mostly new enemies though. Oh wow, <laughs> I guess that's a given if you don't play a game for one year. So we gain insight and based on that we progress further like in terms of roguelites aspect and here next to him we unlocked certain stuff like a boss stash I guess after the feeding hidden passages I guess there's a discount merchant slot machine damn and then we have milestones it's kind of similar to like in death you unlock achievements and then more stuff appears in your runs it's pretty much how it should be like this genre it's amazing to see this on the official store finally the moment i discovered this game two three years ago i knew it's something of proper quality and also very unique which i'm always glad about it's hard to tell if you'll do a playthrough on it because of its nature maybe i'd have to unlock certain stuff and then reach the end then record the whole run we'll see eventually overall chef's kiss from me